Are you concerned with how much sodium your family's consuming? Has your doctor put you on a low sodium diet? Or you just think it's best for the whole family to be on a low sodium diet? Do you have a water softener or a tannin filter and you're concerned about the sodium residual from one of those? Does your water actually taste salty? How do you get rid of salt from water anyway? Well, I'm gonna explain it all to you starting right now. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I simplify water filtration to help you conquer crappy water for your family. This video is for the homeowner that's looking to reduce the sodium content in their family's diet, specifically in their drinking water. As I'm sure you've heard, reverse osmosis drinking water systems are a great way of getting super pure drinking water for your family, but those reverse osmosis systems also reduce the sodium content in your water from 84 to 95 percent. Now, if you want to learn how these systems work, I've got a great YouTube video that explains the whole process. I'll put a link in the description down below. You definitely want to check that out. But reverse osmosis also removes a whole lot more. Check this out. Sulfates, 96 to 98%. Calcium, 94 to 98%. Potassium, 85 to 95%. Nitrates, 60 to 75%. Iron, 94 to 98%. Zinc, 95 to 98% but also mercury, 95 to 98%, selenium, 94 to 96%, phosphates, 96 to 98%, lead, 95 to 98%, arsenic, 92 to 96%, magnesium, 94 to 98%, and nickel, 96 to 98%. But it doesn't stop there. Look at some of the other harmful stuff that reverse osmosis removes. Fluoride, 85 to 92%, Manganese, 94 to 98%. Cadmium, 95 to 98%. Barium, 95 to 98%. Cyanide, 84 to 92%. And chloride. So how does reverse osmosis get rid of that stuff? It's all due to the membrane. So as you can see, the membrane looks like a scroll. So water is forced through this membrane. So the low mineral content water gets through. The high mineral content water doesn't and gets flushed to the drain. And if you're looking for where you can get a reverse osmosis drinking water system for your family, you can go to our e-commerce stores, watereastore.com in the U.S., watereastore.ca in Canada. We offer free shipping and discount pricing. So is there anything else reverse osmosis can remove after those common chemical contaminants? Absolutely. It removes PPCs. What are those? Pharmaceuticals and personal care products. So what happens is when you take pills, the, that, that pill gets absorbed into your bloodstream, into your body, but not all of it. Where does the rest of it go? You excrete it. So because of that, um, it ends up in our water supplies. So reverse osmosis is one of the only technologies that removes those PPCs from your water. Uh, other chemicals, like a uh, reverse osmosis system, includes uh, carbon filters that they also remove things like chlorine, herbicides, and pesticides. And what else? They're also uh, effective at removing bacteria. For example, Cryptosporidium and Giardia. Can reverse osmosis remove other bacteria? Absolutely. Bacteria like Salmonella and E. coli are no problem for reverse osmosis. And uh, viruses. It also removes viruses like Hepatitis A. So as you can see, not only does reverse osmosis significantly reduce the sodium content of your water, it also has so many other great health benefits for your family. Click here for my next video on reverse osmosis drinking water systems, and I'll see you there. Any questions or comments, put them down below. I read them all, and I'd love to answer yours.